Hi, Chanel from Tips and Tricks HQ here and in this video tutorial, we'll take a look at how you can collect your customer's input in the shopping cart using an add-on for the WP Simple Cart plugin. The Simple Cart customer input add-on is useful if you are selling a product or service that you need to collect some kind of input from your customers for. For example, you may need to know a name that will go on the product or you may need to know if they'd like it gift wrapped. Using this add-on, you can ask one or a number of questions to your customers that can be required or not required before the customer checks out. So I'll be explaining how you can use the add-on to collect your customer's input once they check out with a product or service on your site. First, I'd just like to show you what it will look like when you do add your own customer input question. So you have your product here. Once your customer adds it to their cart, if you've got your cart shown below, You'll see that it'll just ask the question just right before the PayPal checkout. So I've just asked, would you like male, female, or a mix of greeting cards? And then I've got a text box here where my customer can answer prior to checking out with PayPal. So I've made this a required field. So if my customer tries to proceed to check out with their one greeting cards pack before answering the question, they'll receive the error that prompts them to fill in the question before proceeding. So if they went ahead and they said mail greeting cards and then they click the checkout with PayPal and there you are, they'll be able to check out right there. I've gone ahead and I've logged into my WordPress dashboard where I've got the Simple Cart plugin activated and the customer input add-on activated. So I've made sure I've got the latest version of the add-on and the plugin and I've set up the basic configuration needed for the WP Simple Cart plugin. So once I've done that, I then clicked on Simple Cart and then I clicked on the Customer Input menu that took me to this page here. I can see that I've already got one custom input, which was the Would You Like Male, Female or a Mix of Greeting Cards, which we just answered previously when we checked out. Although I'm here to show you how you can add another customer input or you can add the first one on your site. So when you get to this page, you'll see that plus Add New button and you'll just need to click on that to add your first custom input or a second or third custom input. So I'll click on that and I'll need to give my input field a label. So I'm just going to ask my customer if they would like envelopes. So I've titled it, would you like envelopes? So that's the main title that they will see. I'm going to make this another required input. So I'll mark this checkbox here to make field required as I did with my first input. In the input field help text, you can give them some hints on how to answer the question. So I'll be leaving that empty for now, but if I had the question, would you like envelopes? You might say, would you like envelopes for each card or would you not like envelopes? You could add something like that just to give them a little bit of a hint of how they could answer the question. So keep in mind when you ask a question that your customer will only be able to answer with text. So it's not like a checkbox, it's just a text field that they'll be able to enter in their text to answer your question. For example, you might like to ask, what name would you like to be engraved? They could answer with Chelsea. So once you've added your next input, you can then order your inputs if you've got more than one. So you can use these arrows here and up and down. If I'd like to move the would you like envelopes above the would you like mail, I'll just click the up. And if I'd like to move it below, I can click the down arrow. So then if I'd like to delete an input, I can just click the garbage bin icon to delete out that input. And that would just remove it straight out and then I'd only have one. But for now I'd like to ask two different customer inputs and I'll go ahead and I'll save my settings. So once my settings are saved, I should be able to just go back to that product page and refresh it and both those questions should be there when a customer adds them to the cart. I've arrived back on my products page to ensure that that second customer input field has been implemented. So now if I scroll down, I've currently got that same greeting cards pack in my cart. As you can see, I've got quantity one at 9.95. If I scroll down further, I can see that that one custom field that we just had previously is still showing up there. So I'll go ahead and I'll refresh this page to ensure our second customer input shows up. So I'll just scroll down, I'll add it back to the cart and there it is. Now it's would you like envelopes and that is shown above the would you like male, female or a mix of greeting cards. So that was the order that we placed them in in the settings menu and that is the order they're shown on this checkout page. So then I would need to answer both of those because they're both required fields 
surprise checking out with PayPal. If you do not make your customer input required, the customer will be able to bypass that and check out with PayPal without giving you an answer. So if you really require an answer for something such as you need to engrave the product before sending it off, make sure that you make it a required field so that the customer needs to answer it. Now that we understand the basics of using the customer input add-on to collect any customer feedback or ask some questions before checking out, I'd now like to show you where you can see the answers that your customers have left. So if you click on the cart orders menu in your WP dashboard, you'll see all the orders that have been completed on your website. Then you'll need to click on just one of those orders where the custom fields have been answered and bring it up and it'll bring you to the edit order page. It's here that under this items ordered section that you'll be able to see the custom fields that have been answered by that customer. So say if you need to engrave the product, you'll need to come here and you'll need to look for their answers here. This one doesn't have any custom fields, but if it did, they would be listed here. You'd be able to see the name that they'd like engraved on that product and you could use that information to then engrave it and then send it off to their shipping address if that has been answered as well. So that pretty much sums up this tutorial on the customer input add-on for the WP Simple Cart plugin. All the best in using this add-on and the plugin. And if you have any further questions or queries, don't hesitate to contact us via the Tips and Tricks forum or just under this video.